Look at this. Sean wow. has delivery service. Sean I can't believe you did that. that? Wow. I can't believe you did that. You, you made our, right in. our talented and loyal and uh, longtime Johnny. friend and cameraman, I, Kevin. I truly. And you made him run to get you a drink I like he was a I rarely ask for things. It's a problem I have. Did it right as we were starting. Legitimately, yeah, I'm like working on it. Like I yeah. should ask for things. And I'm stuck back here. Jesus. Rocco yeah, was so stuck. offended. He belched into very, the mic. That what, dude, that, Johnny, what are you doing, dude? Like you're dubbing that in? And then Derek was like, you got to go live. So everyone could see Kevin handy shot a drink. Mm -hmm. Did I? Make me listen diva. Did I really say that? Or are you just making that up? To Is it cold enough bad? for you, Sean? You, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> and yes, it's great. Thank Should, you. Dude, would you like me to get another one, Mr. Sean? <laughs> well, yeah, uh, get, get another drink for you, George? Uh, you didn't open it for me? Okay, I guess I'll do oh. it myself. Oh, make him come off? up. Wait, wait, wait. Make him come up here and open it are for you. Are your fingernails yeah. okay? I can't. Oh. Get, I don't know. Kevin, you want to open that? <laughs> Look Kevin, at this. No! No! <laughs> no! Yeah. Okay. Wait. Can, you he, know that you could tap it and defuse it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's teach way. everyone at home how to defuse I know, the soda. Wait, before you tap, too. Can I do it? He's just going to open it no, on no, you. No, no, no. You do that. Why no, you don't? Yeah. I was, I, I, uh, in uh, episode Better Call Saul, a lawyer does this. Okay. No, and then I'm going to tap. tap it. How many times? Uh, I, that I don't know. Doesn't I only, tap dude, it like fucked. 10 hard taps. I only know the spin. You're not going to enjoy it until an hour from okay, now. Okay. Ready? Easy. What the, the taps fuck? work. No, it was the spin. No, it was the taps. Get a, <laughs> get two spin. more. Get two <laughs> get more. Two more. Get, get two more. Get, get it. We're going to do it. some okay. fucking science. Get, get we, two okay. Hey, you know what? Nye Rat in the chat Holy inspired shit. me. We're going to do some Bill Nye shit. By the way, I found out our pre-show went out to the public and yeah. nobody even reported it to us. That's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, what's you going on? You little thieving. You guys all took you free. You little thieving Twitch viewers. This is the deal. If you saw the pre-show and you're not sub to us, you owe us a sub. That's yeah. true. Or the equivalent. Legally, yeah. You could buy something I from the store if you that want. This, thank you. Okay. Kevin. Let's shake both of okay, these I'll up. I'll shake them up. I'll have one of the Dr. Zevias when we're done with this. Yeah. Okay. Thank I you. Wanna, I will take Why okay. are we not sponsored by this company yet? By I the way, I don't know. We're the only podcast rocking Zevia every no week. No one fuck. every day. Zevia, what the fuck? All right. Okay. 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 Shaking them up. Bring them over. Oh, me and Rocco. Oh, okay. So one of okay. us will do the tap method and one of us will do the spin method. Okay. Yeah, you guys know your science. Let's go. Okay. Give it a, just a gentle spin to calm the waters. Okay. And you guys have to open it on three. Sean, all right. So I'm ready. Fast. I wonder if that had something. Ready? To do yep. All right. I'm ready. Yeah. Three, two, one. Both methods. They both work. What work. the fuck? Fuck. You know what, dude? They both work. I'm maybe Zevia is like non yeah, maybe, overflowing hey. technology. I, I don't know because this is the most carbonated shit I've ever drank. Yeah. Right? You, it's got to, it, there's no reason it shouldn't spray. I am well, I guess I have to drink a Zevia. We're as all well. drinking Zevia. <laughs> this is, this is, this is my it. first one. Can we get a okay. wide shot of White, the boys yeah. cheering? And this is a, to going you. out to Zevia. Please sponsor us. Please. Fuck? Okay. Yeah. Please. Derek, enjoy it. Uh, I mean, just. Pretend you okay. like it. Yeah, yeah, we're really. <laughs> All right. Cool. Ooh, Zevia. Cheers, everyone. All right, mm. Zevia. Bottoms up. For $10, I'll try <sighs> this. So, at me. Mm. PayPal. Mm -hmm. Let us know. by the If they get in by the end of the episode. I'll try yeah. that. We'll, yeah. Well, that there You're you going to see a can get chugged. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, but yeah, hey, you know what? Let's do it. That's not what we're here theme for. Theme song. Oh. All right, welcome everybody to the Mega 64 podcast, the number one video game podcast on the internet, the number, well, top 10 uh, YouTube podcasts on the internet. True. That's true. That's right. Uh, there's only nine podcasts in no particular order who uh, could outperform us. Yeah. As far, as far as the YouTube Do space. you know what they are? I don't know if they even are. I think it was yeah. H3H3. Okay. Those That's, guys are like number nine. They're like, they're right, right ahead of us. us. A yeah. little bit. I mean, we yeah. are on their heels. Yeah. Yeah, but they're scared. Uh -huh. I Ethan think it's is. them. Uh, the, uh, this, yeah. this American Life and okay. like uh, yeah. uh, Will It Blend, blend or something. Yeah, there was like, uh, there's like a podcast like Sausage Girls or it's like these three girls who are comedians and they do uh, like sponsored Jimmy John's content. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. They're up there. Mm -hmm. They're beating us. Meat uh, treats and stuff. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, that's so, pretty much right. it. Yes, thanks to everybody at home. Thanks for joining us. Thank you Yeah. for what tuning in. Um. Yeah, you know, we mentioned on the pre-show that it's one week out since 64X. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
I hope, wild weekend. Yeah, I hope everybody's recovered. Uh, Rocco, ha- have you recovered from the uh, toy to the face? Dude. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, is everything good? I think I keep meaning to bring the goggles in here as a as a visual because they're in like the camera room or something. And I keep forgetting. Well, but I put them back in the costume. But closet. I still oh. did have I still did have people ask because you could see in I put up a slowed down clip or whatever. You could see a red streak as soon as it hits me, but that is paint from the figure. Yeah. But it look it kind of in just if you're kind of not looking at it super closely, it does look like there's blood, but there was. I just can't believe it was. I didn't. First off, it, there was so much happening at mm. once. Mm. I had no. I had no idea mm. that you were serious. Like at yeah. any point, I didn't know. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything had hit you uh, actually. Because yeah. same. Uh, can I just say, in regards to so many things happening at once? Yeah. That uh, at one point. You know, we're filming that wrestling match and I'm in there doing the announcing thing. Yeah. And then I introduce you guys and you come in and then um, I jump out. And the rough idea is like you guys are going to go for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back and bring the wrestlers in. And it's just going to keep going. Yeah. And like we ordered all this Mediterranean food for the shoot. <laughs> and yeah. I, as soon as I roll out of the ring, my phone starts going off and this. Guy is like, I'm outside the location, but I don't know where you are. And so oh, shit. it's a big warehouse where yeah. I'm running to the front door and he's like, no, I'm in back. And I'm running to the back door. He's like, no, I'm in front. I run back oh to the front God. door. I find this guy. I'm sorry. I unload the Fun. trays. Kevin thankfully comes up to me and he's like, I can help you. And I was like, yeah, but we don't have any plates or utensils. So then I'm getting a credit card and handing it to Kevin so he can go drive off oh. to like the local supermarket. And then oh I my God. like we run and we put all the food down and then I look at the clock. And it's like shit. And I run over to the ring, <laughs> roll into the ring, grab the mic. It's like and coming into the <laughs> oh ring. My now. God. <laughs> and I'm like sweating at this point. And I'm just thinking like <laughs> we need to get some fucking people to help us around these cars. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it was super hectic. Like it was yeah. going that fast. Yeah, stressful day. And yeah. you were really running most of it that day. You you kind of like that's true. Set all that up with the wrestlers and all that. So I had. I mean, I I was there. You know, obviously we're all like writing this stuff, but like I felt like that day it, you were juggling every ball. Like you it know was what? just like oh my god. Well, you guys, it was improv. You guys were just improving sure. it, and the wrestlers. You know, as far as I know, they were just going at it. It yeah, was yeah. So shit out of each other. So funny. I I think like. When I have to improv about like dumb stuff I don't know about, like these like, toys or whatever, like, but these, these, it's, I could do that forever. I could, sure. I could, when Derek rolled in, I'm like, already 10 minutes? Like, we, okay. Like, I felt like we just started, but yeah. okay, whatever. But it was wild being in a wrestling ring because I've never done that before. Yeah. And, you know, obviously I'm not wrestling, but I just keep seeing things happen in front of me. And I think like I would never in a million years want to be a wrestler. <laughs> like, no, 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 smart. I'm the opposite. No. You, that's because you have a brain. No <laughs> offense uh-huh. to wrestlers. No, yeah. <laughs> Shit. I just offended a lot of my friends. No, I think that, uh, you know, that day it, well, there was so much going on. We were filming 64 X on location and, and basically we're throwing a fake convention and we're yeah. filming it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you know, Rocco had took a toy to the face, got injured and it was so hectic. I didn't even see that happen. So mm. like, you know, I was just, I felt bad on one side, but on the other hand, I also felt like that was so crazy. It's, <laughs> we really captured a special once in a lifetime or once in a mega 64 lifetime moment. Yeah. yeah. That, I feel that like energy that day. It yeah. was like an instant classic. It's going to be like that time we got into a wrestling ring and did the <laughs> anime panel. Yeah. Which has never yeah. been done ever. So we invented a new kind of match. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. should go down in wrestling history for that one. Yeah. Come you on. know, you just get in a ring that you've seen before and you always think, well, it's probably soft and it's not yeah, it fucking really soft. Wasn't. Like yeah. it's like, and like the ropes are like, I like stood on the ropes to see how high I'm like, that's fucking high. And people yeah. are doing flips on to other people on, I don't yeah, know, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think Garrett had the exact opposite approach yeah. when he got in the ring. I was he was so like, excited I, yeah, to take you, a bump. Dude. Uh, you yeah. took a hard one. I uh, I, got, I got a lot of credit online too, so thank you for those that commented. As our, as our Deadpool security <laughs> oh, yeah? guard, yeah, people reached out. They were like, "Bro, you took that, you sold it, like great job." I okay, was like, oh, wow, well, I did. Podcast question of the week: Who took a better bump, Garrett or Rocco? Oh. Who sold I, it? Who sold it better? I got to vote for Rocco. You know, Rocco, I didn't see how that hit you until the video aired. Oh, at really? 64 I don't think anybody could see it because Amanda was on the ground. And she kind of threw it, 
at uh, Astronema. Yeah, but I think, that's what she was trying to do was I think, hit her. Honestly, it kind of went wide. And at the same time, Astronema was like bending over at the same moment. Yeah. And it kind of skimmed her back. Yeah. And, and, it is a, and, and hit you in the face. Kind but, of ricocheted off her back a from, little bit, yeah. maybe. Yeah, but from where I was standing, and I think a lot of us, Astronomer was just standing in front of you. So <laughs> the toy just went behind her. Yeah. And yeah, from the from where the camera was, the front angle, you can kind of see everything. Also, like it, you know, she didn't throw it that hard if it hit your like side. I mean, she threw it hard. Hard enough. It like it, 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 if, if it hit your side, it would suck. But yeah. if it hit your face, that's fucked. You know, like it was just like. And those things were heavy. So, so for me, it wasn't getting hit because I actually in the ring, I was kind of hoping something would happen where it was like either something I, really funny. I was like, ready to be like hit by some, or something to happen. I I was prepared for that. It really, it wasn't like oh a thing hit my head. It that wasn't a big deal. It was really, it felt it like it went deep in my eye. That was the thing that spooked yeah. the shit out of me. Yeah. Was that it? It felt like it pressed the goggle. Like it felt like a thumb like going in your eye and then. So and then again and then again I saw red so it was like oh my oh my god it went through my fucking eye what happened I couldn't catch up to what happened but yeah uh so I was spooked by that I needed a minute to figure it out and and then I figured it out it's like okay I'm fine everything's good I'm good um I I did want to say I don't think I said this earlier but uh the guy who helped put the ring together had never met him had never talked to him before Tony. that guy yeah. Friend of a friend is I think that. Yeah, I couldn't have navigated that moment better because I walked off and it, I, a lot of people were kind of like, I don't know, is he really hurt or is he pretending or yeah. what? And uh, and I was still playing. I was still trying to play it up. Fuck, fuck this event. Fuck. And the whole time I'm thinking, oh, my God, is my eye OK? You know, anyway, he came up and he was like, hey, I know you're spooked right now, but that was the best footage. At, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I just I just he's like, I know you probably he said, I know you're probably hurting right now, but if there's one thing that'll make you feel better, the footage is fucking great. Just, just wanted to let. Like, no, I was like, yeah. that is the best thing you actually yeah, could say to cool. me right Thanks, now. Thank Tony. you. Yeah, um, he's uh, he runs a wrestling promotion a little bit north. I think in the L.A. Long Beach area. So oh, okay. We called him in from far away, and he yeah. was kind of, again, when you guys were in the ring, he was the old timer around. Oh, okay. And he was kind of just getting around, like whispering things, like, uh, <laughs> oh, really, you know, because I was kind of shouting to you guys, like, hey, you know, when they're getting ready to go through that table. You know, pull those chairs back. And he was like, definitely have a pull. He's in my ear. Oh. Definitely have a pull those fucking chairs back. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna fucking kill people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, pull the chairs back. <laughs> um, so he was like the angel, the guardian angel for everybody I was there. really concerned about Goku's hair, or like all the hair yeah, yeah. on Impaling? the table. Yeah. yeah. And they wanted the to go through hair. it. And yeah. then at one point, Amanda was got to go through the table, and I was like trying Just to clear it off and she's like, Leave them. Just leave them. I'm like, oh my god. And then <laughs> she's like, in character. She was in character, but she was like, I think in the mindset, like, I'm gonna get fucking hurt, and I don't care. And it was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, are you okay? Yeah. 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 Well, um, you were in there with real wrestlers. I was, and, um, and that's yeah. you know something that I never thought I'd be in there with them, and that was cool. It was, so, I loved it. Yeah. So uh, I, I talked about this on my stream. On I think it was on my, my own stream the other night, maybe, but uh, I can't remember. But. Uh, so yeah, I was fine. I checked everything out. Okay, ice fine. Wow. Okay, great. Um, but it was weird. Like I moved on. It was fine. But it was like I couldn't come down from that freaked out moment. You know what I mean? I was. It was like. It was like I was like high on. It was like. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Blah, blah. It was like we got to do other stuff. But I haven't yeah. come down from that. And uh, so while you guys were sitting, I think it was while you, maybe you put the food out. Yeah. I was like, I actually think it. I wasn't sad or upset. But I felt like if I cry, I'll feel better. Does oh, that make sense? Wow. I w it was like oh, wow. it was like yeah. taking a shit. It really was. <laughs> it really no. It was really weird. I went behind the building. I'm like, I can't like come down from this. And I just went. <sighs> oh, okay. All right, we're good. All right, let let's it go. Out. And it, was, it was seriously like I had to like release that or something. Whoa. Stress, it was weird. Stress release. And yeah. I said this on my stream the other night. And you someone cry or jerk off. You it, know. Yeah, no, but it really it felt like it was you know, like I had to like was it, it, it really felt like I had to like discharge that. It was <laughs> really bizarre. And I said that in my stream, and a couple people said this to me. They said that sounds like you had a panic. You were having a panic attack, and you didn't know it. Uh, I, and to oh. my to my knowledge, I haven't really. I don't have a lot of experience with that. I could think of maybe one time in my life that maybe I I did, but um, I'm not super familiar with that. And they said like, I bet you were and you you had that like kind of sub, you were subduing it as best you could 
Because I did that for about 10 seconds. I was just kind of like, okay, tears are coming out. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. It was it was weird. That's wild. I wasn't sad. It was just that had to come out. Yeah. It was very weird. Pa- yeah. Are panic attacks different for each person? Yeah. Like each it's individual? It's never like the same. Yeah, totally. That's what's so weird. Because, yeah, like everyone told me that I was talking about like that shortness of breath, breath thing when I get cold and I start to shiver. And everyone told me when I talked about that on the podcast, yo, that's a panic attack. And they had me convinced what? that that's a, that's a panic attack. That sounds really? totally yeah. different. That's why I don't like talking about medical shit on the podcast because the chat I makes know. me think I got to go to a fucking yeah. expert, yeah. fucking get an MRI or some shit. Yeah, but Do- that, Doctor I, Chat with but, the hot diagnosis. But after <laughs> all of that release, you felt better and you came around and ate. It was seriously five seconds. Five day. seconds of that. I mean, I was still spooked out the rest yeah. of the day because I did again. It just felt like my eye got pressed in, so I was still like, Ooh. so that all made. But, sense. but I felt much better. Yeah, that that finally made sense on sixty four X when I saw the footage and I went, okay, that's why you were fucking like way different. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, d- didn't see it. Just heard, oh, he got hit in the eye. Yeah, the uh, yeah. yeah, it was gnarly. But yeah, Rocco, you could tell was like, I mean. We were supposed to go to the Padre game. I had tickets. And I, I by the end, I'm like, hey, Rocco, don't go. Like, <laughs> it's not, you're not going to yeah. enjoy it. Like, you're not in the right headspace to, you know, like, let's, yeah. let's, let's just take, go home. Let's yeah. Take the night it just off. spooked me out. We got home or, or uh, we left. I went right to bed. I, I knew I you never would. go to bed early. I was just like, yeah, was, uh, yeah, man, I need to like sleep this off. And so I did. I did. And I felt great. It was great. But weird. it was, yeah, I was like, it just wigged me out. It was just a weird moment. But I wasn't like in pain or anything. And Manda fine. apologized. You guys mm-hmm. made up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fine. And oh, she again, felt, she, felt, I, she felt terrible. Again, I knew in the ring, day. like, something was probably going to happen, but it was not a, to me. I was like, yeah, we're going to, you know, probably get bumped into something. But, Anything for the shot. But, but that, yeah. I didn't expect that. Yeah. It was well, good. you did good. You know, Hell yeah. Round of you, applause. Uh, you carried on throughout the day, even though you had to run to do your thing, you know, <laughs> whatever it was. You came back strong. So. <laughs> oh. Honestly, nobody knew. Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I knew I you were gone, and I was like, I think we just got to let him. I knew you were gone. So uh, I thought. I thought. I mean, I heard that you got injured, so I thought maybe you were in the bathroom or taking. Yeah. Care of, you know something. Uh. So uh, I forgot to mention this part. Ran behind. So yeah, I ran behind the building. I was like, I feel like if I just. Yeah, it's like if I just let tears come out for a minute, I'll feel better. And I did. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, wow. It was like I just needed to let that go. Okay. Huh, huh. I'm like almost not talking to myself, but I'm kind of having that moment by myself just behind the building in front of some door. And then I realize I look up and there was a girl standing there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shit. And she's like, I'm just trying to get into. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The, the door. There's no. apartments or something uh, near. It's not. It wasn't our shit. building. It was a, one next to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she's trying to. She's like <laughs> carrying her groceries, and that's the door to get to her apartment. Like, yeah, I'm just trying to get. You know, here's here's this guy oh, with no. a tsunami shirt and goggles going. She, she what found, is this? She found <laughs> Chet Possum with the slash Chet red glasses. Yeah, you know. Uh, so whoops! I will say that girl lives in downtown. Yeah, and she probably she's seen that shit, all shit the time. like that before. Yeah, oh, yeah. and You're I was not the first time. And I, she probably was ready for a freakier uh, encounter too. Because yeah, I, like, oh. I super, I was like, oh my god, Jesus! I am sorry about that. Let me move. And she was like, oh no, you're good. Like it was like I think she realized, oh okay, he's this isn't like a maniac, you know, here or anything. Well, he's he is a maniac. A well, he's a well yeah, but, he, maniac. but he's apo- an apologetic. Yeah, maniac. that's all you need. Yeah, totally. But anyway, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, it, it, it was classic moment. Yeah, the whole thing is classic <laughs> moment. Uh, you can check yeah. it out. Thirty it minute wrestling fun. match we put together. It it's was archived, awesome. baby. Yeah, it's art. Yeah, let's go in the. Uh, Library of Congress someday, definitely. <laughs> uh, definitely. I, you know what was funny? I had a lot of people go like, "That was cool." Um, you know that like the venue you had with the wrestling stuff, and then of course we did those segments there with the ball pit. Yeah. But I had a lot of people ask me, "So where now? Where did you shoot the PS4 lounge?" I was like, "That, that was the same. same <laughs> it's just place. a separate room in the same uh, yeah. same place. They just have a big white room. It's mm-hmm. perfect. Yeah, mm-hmm. place is great." nondescript PS4 We actually line. filmed yeah. a, a video there before, right? We filmed the... Um, we did our Disgaea video there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So um, last summer. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. And I hope everybody can come on out to 64X. That was fun. That was yeah. a, you know, underrated video. A lot of people didn't see that one, but that's okay because it was fun to make. You don't have to watch us. We just get to have fun. 
Yeah. That's true. Because uh, we have the best <laughs> job in the world. Yeah. I feel that way. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. So I, I definitely felt that way on the Disgaea uh, filming day because I didn't have oh, to do yeah. any of the obstacles. I got <laughs> to just go, oh, 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 they got hurt. Okay, cool. I'm well, going to go back that's to so eat, the, eat the, opposite. the obstacles. You just weren't competing. We still <laughs> yeah. had you. Yeah, we got that's footage. True. I did, yeah, at the end run through, but it, but the, but the competitive pressure was off. It was like, let's just see if he could do it. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I was just telling Kevin there are very there are a few things that will always be funny to me like ga- a few gags I will always lean on like I'll laugh at that every time and one of them is uh, when someone says watch a pro and then eat shit <laughs> like like watch an expert do this I it happened in that video I I made sure it was like let's get that gag in um, and then Derek you did it in the uh, uh, limited run video we just did where you had to go see a oh, tiger. Yeah. Oh, Pay yeah. attention, rookie. You just might learn something. Gets mauled by a tiger. <laughs> that <laughs> gag will always make me laugh. I don't know yeah. what it is. I will always laugh at that. Yeah, anyway. it was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, fun day. Uh, Susan yeah. Fox is great. Joe Rumrall was fucking hilarious. Mm. I had never heard of him before. Yeah. And uh, I went back and introduced? Watched I watched that again because I thought it was so good. So it was great. A yeah, fun it was day. a great set. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for everyone who bought something. Made the day so great. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for watching the podcast, everybody. Good night. Take care. Take Sorry, care. I was like, oh. this thing, I was wrapping it up. I didn't it sounded like you were wrapping it up. <laughs> no, you know. You know, 64X was that. five hours. I think he we wants can to do 50 can, minutes off. He wants oh, to get yeah. to video game talk. He no, oh, no. to talk about games. God, I haven't played Hold on. Oh, yeah. What have you been doing this week? What have I been doing? Yeah, yeah not out, outside of Mega 64. I don't want to talk about your work. Okay. That's boring. We get a, let's get a Breath of the Wild update. Yeah, let's, I have, let's get a Sean date. I have Sheffield played that recently, time. but I don't want to get into What's it. your life been like recently? It's been good. Sean, yeah. Yeah, it's great. You know, me and Jenny are taking the kids, doing stuff, gymnastics. Uh, the girls got the haircut, you know. Okay. Went what? to a birthday party this morning at the Bay. Then we had a whole cousin get together at my house today. Cousins? Uh, That's yeah. That's a lot of guests at the house, huh? No, 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 no. Nope. It was just like my brother and... His wife and my sister and my brother-in-law and then my brother. Oh, easy. It was, it was, it was, it was great. It was fun. And then I, I literally left the middle of the party to come here. So, you know, I'm just feeling. Oh, so they're there without you. Yeah. Oh, at okay. my house without me. You think they ever put the podcast on? Maybe like. Oh, sh- are they watching right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> you think like. All my nieces and nephews. Yeah. like And the cousins. Everyone like, wants to see. see Uncle Wait, Sean. so how many people are at your house right now? What the? Probably like 12. Oh, I could not what deal. The oh, I could Dang. not deal, bro. That's not no. crazy. What? Why is that crazy? What? I don't hey, think I don't James think I've ever, I don't think I've ever had twelve people <laughs> in my right. house in the past like We're forgetting 10, ten years. Sean is, Sean regularly has things where there's like hundred and ten people he doesn't know at his house. That has stopped. Oh that, okay. I bl- we're well, done with those parties. No, <laughs> no, it hasn't. no, I mean like yeah. I mean we'll see what happens. Can in I September. ask? Yeah. Uh, can we do like a round robin? What's the most amount of people you've had in in the place you currently live? Mm. For me, I want to say like. Maybe ten, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like yeah, house, new, and new that was my Z house party. Yeah, party. but honestly, that was it was probably closer to like eight. I I think I, that would be my answer too. Eight to ten, probably the most I've ever had at my place. Garrett, do you want to go? Yeah, I, I would say like eight to. T- I no. would say ten, you ten to twelve. Our backyard barbecue shit. Backyard barbecues is usually like eight people. I maybe I 60 think forecasts. Garrett, I will challenge. I swear, I will say on my end. Yeah, I I know I've seen at one point at least probably fifteen. I don't know. Maybe. It's like six of us and we all bring a guest. Okay. Well, let me say, first off, one, on a normal day, there's six of us in my family. So okay. it's a six minimum. It's usually. already too many That's people. where it starts. Yeah. That's I, where think, I already starts. think it's already a party. And I already there. think you're forgetting a couple a too. Party. <laughs> you ever heard yeah. three's a crowd? But back in the old days, when I first went into this house, I've lived here for a long time. Yeah. Uh, we would have, yeah, big birthday parties. Uh, when Emma and Beckett were really little. And so probably 70, That's 75 people. Oh my <laughs> That's God. A kegs? How, How many kegs do you need do you for 70 people? get 75 people well, to your house? they were in the Where backyard too. Oh, did you rent a bus? Park? No, down the street and stuff. But uh, yeah, they have to shuttle in. there was one party in. a long time ago where, because they're all like, you know, people are on the, in the house and they're in the garage, then they're in the backyard, whatever. Damn, it's not that big, but it's big enough that I can handle no it. No place sacred. One time a swarm of bees showed up and we <laughs> oh, all oh, had to go no. into my tiny ass house and we're all just like <laughs> waiting for the bees to go oh, away. Oh no. It was wild. Oh, fuck. 
fuck. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow, you guys know how to party. What's yeah. the shitter look like after that party? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 75 people in on one, one bathroom. Toilet. Yeah. yeah. That toilet's going to get used oh, for sure. Like three meals. <laughs> Dude, I I feel bad because there's been times even at our old at our old studio, uh, where there we would like film stuff, yeah, and like have a huge crowd, and and then it would be like, wait, we only have the one bathroom here, so then it would turn into like, all right, there's three fast food places across. All right, oh, yeah. some of you are gonna <laughs> your bathroom is Taco Bell, your bathroom is In and yeah. Out, your yeah. you know whatever. Because that toilet broke. And that it, it was already it would only uh, flush once an hour. Yeah, it, yeah, it was bad. Yeah, and uh, and I just remember not knowing the logistics until everyone got there, and it's like, oh no, we need to we need to have a plan. Yeah. Um. Here we don't have really have that issue. Oh my god, it's so nice. We have like multiple bathrooms. Yeah. A urinal for the first multiple time. toilets first in time one in bathroom so everyone can hang out. Yeah. You know, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Hands under the stall. It's How's it going because in there? There is like a stall and a urinal and one and there's two stalls in the other one. But if no one has ever once used that. Uh, speak for yourself. Brian and I are here late night doing you guys PPS. Are, well, there's two bathrooms. Why would you use the same one? Because it's scary at night. And that's <laughs> <laughs> when the tricksters start making I noises in the walls. This for a and, second. You know, you like hear shit. Dude. Like, oh, you're supposed by, to just laugh. By the way. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Garrett. Speaking of which. <laughs> yeah. What? You can literally see this moment on video that I'm about to say. Okay. I'm I was here late. Do I've been like cleaning shit out, cleaning my office out, things like that. People were telling me it was a mess. Um, so I've been, I've been working on that. <laughs> so I was here just shaping stuff up and then I was here late and I was like, you know what? Time to do a figure update. I was here probably three in the morning and I was yeah. like, fuck oh, it. Wow. Let's do one now. I'll record one now and I can move some of this stuff out of here. And I'm like midway through recording it and I start fucking hearing conversations through the wall. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, okay, it's like three ten in the morning. You don't want to be hearing that, that shit. Yeah, no way. You can literally scrub through the figure update. I don't know where it is. And see me going like, yeah. So uh, this uh, red. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't edit them. I just upload the whole yeah, thing, yeah. and I'm just going like, what the fuck is that? Uh, Garrett left like YouTube or something open, yeah. and it was auto playing forever. <laughs> but why would it start at three in the morning? That's what bothers me. Hey, that does happen sometimes. If you leave it open long enough, it just starts the page back up. Refreshes. Yeah, and uh, it oh. did, and it was somewhat, and I'm like, I'm freaked out, and I'm going down there like, who is here? And then I start to hear the Elgato actually need, uh, is better with a fir <laughs> firmware update, so uh, if you update the firmware, you should have better audio, I that, was, and I'm like, you gotta be. I, was yeah, I, got, I got there in the morning, and I, I, as soon as I walk in, I heard conversation, I'm like, Dude. nobody's fucking here. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> that rest that yeah. happened at 3.10 yeah. in the oh, morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, fuck. Anyway. Wow. That's uh, you know, it's That's sad. Funny. Every ghost story is probably that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not it's just a Probably. just a YouTube logical tutorial. explanation. Well, Some random shit. Uh, well, so you're never gonna have you're never gonna have cool things like ghosts and spirits and afterlife in a, in a world where we just keep kicking out God. Yeah, we don't start <laughs> hey, celebrating Halloween uh, the right speaking way. Speaking of figure update, I have a surprise for someone in this room. Oh, Whoa. their name is. Who is it? Who is it? Garrett! Goodies! Oh! oh! Garrett, it's you. You're the winner. <clears throat> Derek has some goodies I can have? I do. At this Comic Con, I was slinging some bootleg action figures, like got into a conversation with Garrett. Wait, yes. what's, what are you laughing at? What are you giggling well, at? What well, I'm laughing at is any goodies I can have? <laughs> That's not how I say it. I didn't. <laughs> he's being me, but he's being offensive. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't hey, necessarily you you? Sean. Yeah, fuck you for I'm that. I'm just pissed because I. it was... You were looking at me in that shot. Like you said, <laughs> I have a treat. I, whatever. Okay, sorry, no, Jerry. I, I Go ahead. You. But at well, Comic Con, well, wait, you Garrett had made a special figs. request for me to make a figure for him, and I have it. Oh. What is that? Oh. You can hand fully, that down to him. Do you remember asking for this? Fully packaged, totally. I've been waiting. I've really? been hoping you remembered our conversation. Yeah, you can open it up if you want to pull it out. This is a. a He's asked for a, like, uh, you know, it's like oh, one it's of those Roman busts. <laughs> I love this. He one. said I could des uh, design it any way I wanted. I tried to make it very goth and Garrett like. Yeah, this oh, is like on. a black it gets better. Hit black. it with this light. Black What's sparkle. <gasps> Hit it with that light. What, what kind of light is it? Get ready for the pop. Whoa, Whoa dude. It's got spiraling Here, in there. Get it from the front so they can see. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, that's on, on her yeah. chest. 
a, a look at veins throughout the buttocks. Uh, veiny Whoa. ass. Look at that. Veiny ass. We've Derek, it's like a techno goth. That's cool. Thank you so much. I remember you'd always put like the green in your hair when you're you strife. Even, yeah. yeah. It's like uh you know, that's you the don't strife even cyborg. See that until yeah, you gotta hit it with the black light. That's completely invisible until you hit it with the black and light. And it's like, yeah, it looks like veins. Oh, Derek, I have black lights in my office. This is going to look so good on oh, my desk. Thank you, right. man. Yeah, you're that's welcome. That's cool. Your, what are your, uh, your, your toys are called? You have a line, right? I don't. Not yet. But, okay. Uh, you know, they're, uh, I post them on Instagram every once in a while. I only made them available at Comic-Con. I really like person. that this all started because you won uh, Olympic board games, right? You used the money on Amazon right, to start yeah. this. That's <laughs> fucking cool. I wanted to make my own dice after that. And so I, I kind of got into it and then upgraded into, you know, toys and all kinds yeah. of Yeah, from dice to... See, what if you never won? If you wouldn't have... If I would have beat you... You, you would, you'd be the one here making you know, showing something off so cool. You're, you would probably bought a guitar, have a new album out or something. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, probably. Derek, we just, thank you we so were, much. This we were awesome. just talking welcome, about this man. before you guys came in here. Is we were talking about uh, something about the Beatles and how they almost reunited for SNL because SNL kept making jokes about reuniting oh, them. Yeah, so they this. were like, "Yeah, hey, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it." And yeah. then traffic was so bad in New York that day, they went, "Nah, f- never mind." Shut because up. Because that's, that's a real story. What? And we were saying the next multiverse movie that comes out because there's been a ton of them, yeah. everything, everywhere, all at once, and Doctor Strange and all that. The next one needs to open with that the, the rooftop performance. And then have the announcer say, but but people rem- won't forget their next performance because you're thinking, well, wasn't that their last one? And it's them. They're I'm in the sad. car. Oh, lots of traffic today. Why don't we take the subway? And then they take the subway, make it to SNL, and they play like a new song. And then that made me think of, Sean, remember Every- Everyday Chemistry? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we read deep lore once about Beatles album that exists in an alternate universe. Well, I found got. this on like a, yeah. Yeah. on like a random, you know, it was like Ted, the cave diver, some random forum was posting <laughs> a story. And in the early two thousands, there'd be these internet stories and you wouldn't be able to tell if they were real. Yeah. I yeah. remember this. Yeah, I remember like when I first yeah. found the Blair yeah. witch, I didn't know if it was real or not. And this thing claimed to have somehow created an interdimensional device that went to another dimension and they yeah. brought back evidence and the evidence they brought back was a new Beatles album yeah. called everyday chemistry. Yeah. And they had the album available online for you to listen to. And it yeah. was like a remix of all their solo albums yeah. cut together. It was weird, but it was also, I do this old, this was like, I remember in your parents' kitchen. Yeah. That we talked about this. Yeah. That's a, that was a thousand Fucking two thousand three, yeah, two thousand four, yeah, maybe. yeah, and and I remember specific. Oh, were you gonna say no? Another thing about, oh, but well, sadly, the music wasn't good. That's how <laughs> you knew it was fake. Yeah, that's how I knew. Uh, yeah. But what I was gonna say, what I was telling them was, there was a point in time we kept coming up with episode ideas, like Mega sixty four version, like two or three episode ideas. Yeah, where it was about alternate dimensions, like oh, Marcus goes into an alternate dimension, Mega sixty four, and mm-hmm. everything's different. And every time we pitched that. No matter where it was going or what it was doing, if it was an alternate dimension, Sean would go. I'm really sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. You, ha- I'll make the poster for Everyday Chemistry. Put it in the background. It was always <laughs> like you have to get the Beatles Everyday Chemistry. I just want one yeah. in there. I just need that. Poster. And then we put it in a Mega 64 <laughs> video. I don't remember what it was advertising, but the video was we made the talking t- toilet with the right. Yeah, on Rise it. of Nightmares. Rise yeah. of Nightmares. So that's right, where the yeah. joke finally made it. it. You made the poster. Well, it was Abbey Road covered. Two. Oh, was that's it? what we, we changed it to that. Yeah, yeah. See, you couldn't yeah. let me have my nobody way. Nobody would get everything. No one would yeah. get that. Yeah. I think we actually had that conversation. It was like, are <laughs> people going to get that? Door. Yeah. So yeah, Abbey Road too. I think I, I was going through boxes or something here, and I just found the copy of Abbey Road too. Really? In there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I was cleaning out some shit, and I found like so many. We were in like PlayStation magazine. But we were in it the month of E3, and back, I don't know if they still do it at E3, but there was like the piles of every game magazine for free. Yeah. So I just grabbed a shitload of them and put them in my bag so I could send them out to people, but I guess I never did that, and I have them all, so. (laughs) A big stack. Maybe for secret prizes, I was like, I think I don't know what year it was, 2006, 2007. Yeah. But I have nine, co- I think. Yeah. I have copies of this fucking magazine. Maybe I'll throw it at secret prizes. Yeah. A couple of them. Uh no, there was um uh what was I gonna say? Uh I remember do- when we did that com- that Rise of Nightmares commercial, you know, it was I think that was Sega, and they were very, you know, of course, strict about legal clearances on certain things. Mm-hmm. You know, at even mm-hmm. one point we're like, oh, 
you know, we go into the alternate dimension through this. Uh, it was like a porta potty or something. I don't remember what it was. By the way, if people don't know, this video is from like a decade ago. Yeah, it's yeah. more li- than that, liter- video, literally. Though, so we're talking about like twelve year old video. Yeah, this, so this look was, it up. I think it was like twenty twelve. Refresh, something like that. refresh Damn, your memory. Like that, Rise of nightmares. But uh, it. You, we would go into this portal and then I remember in the video you described it. Yeah, it's like a Doctor Who kind of thing. Oh, okay. Like we didn't know anything about Doctor Who, but you just said that. And like even that, they were like, okay, we got to clear that. Got to make sure it's okay. And then for some reason, I remember having Abbey Road 2 in there and they were like, cool. I was like, yeah. Well, half the Beatles are dead. Yeah, so, but it was yeah. like, who's going to care? But we showed the cover. Like we show Abbey Road. Like, <laughs> like it's not like we just say it. Like there's a, there's a. No, but it's not Abbey Road. Like, nah. It's Abbey Road no, 2. Too. It's a whole different album. It's, it's, it's a different thing. It's a parody. I like, yeah, yeah. I was like, use. all right, I'm not going to ask questions, but yeah. <laughs> that's that. That's uh, we made it our own. We customized it. I just remember they gave us like no notes on that commercial, except I think you made a joke about vegans or something. You made a, you, we took a, there was some joke about like, on this dimension, vegans aren't overbearing or something. There was something where it was like, I think someone who was vegan was pissing us off that day or something, and we made a uh, joke. And then they were like, you. they were like, no, great video, no notes, except why, why take a shot at vegans? I, we don't. What's wrong with that? And it was like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. We're not Got that it. bad. Fair. 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 We'll take it out. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm down with vegans. Oh you know, yeah, yeah. Beatles. When I came in today, I did not think we'd have a rise of nightmares talk. I, I didn't, didn't think we would. Me neither. You never know we are. what's going to You never happen. fucking know. We have that in the Mega forever. 64 universe. That's I didn't yeah. want to throw away that toilet. I was yeah. so happy with that puppet. Yeah, Garrett that loved toilet. that toilet. It was awesome. a demon toilet. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Have a seat. Um, you know, I want to pull this back to uh, something a little bit more recent. I'm going to go back to 64X. Yeah. Basically, you know, I'm not done recapping it. It was so much fun. You fun. already talked about Joe Rumrill. Yep. By the way, did we mention our connection to Joe Rumrill is uh, very loose? Very uh, nebulous. Uh, barely even know the guy at all, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, I met him for the first time that day. Yeah. Excited he actually has like a long standing feud with somebody who works here and he came in to settle it. Johnny, do you want to talk about the beef you and Joe you have well? feud? Have uh, no, me and him are great friends. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> Johnny, drop friends. the PR. Okay. Great the, don't don't give us the marketing answer. You hear this how is fake that sounds. The Mega 64 podcast. Give us the dirt because you know this guy from New York City. And New York Johnny knows Joe Rumrell, correct? Uh, yeah, he was in a band called Two Ton Bug. They're pretty cool. Two Ton Bone. Oh, didn't you do a music video for Two Ton Bug? Yeah, I did a music video for Two Ton Bug. It's called Jump That Gorge. If you want to check it out, nice. Was that the beginning of the feud between you guys? (laughs) Yeah. What happened on set? Yeah, he. uh, uh, No, once again, great friends. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Johnny all right. was He's like a marketing pro. I know a comedian. And I'm like, all right. And then like I didn't look into it any further than that. I'm like, oh cool, that's taken care of. Yeah. And then great. like once you before I came on, I'm like, I truly have no idea what's gonna happen here. I uh, don't know. Yeah. And then he started and it was fucking great. Joe so that's was why awesome. you trust Johnny. Yeah. I, I do trust Johnny. Actually, uh Johnny him? saved our ass. He came in in a clutch moment. And Joe saved our ass too, because we really wanted to have a comedian, you know, like just one outside act for 64X. Yeah. Just to spice it up a little bit. Also, one that would be cool with us, like pulling a fire alarm and like filling the room with smoke. Like it was like, yeah, it's kind was, of a lot to ask to someone yeah. who you don't really know, but he was game for everything. It was awesome. But yeah, we, we had we had some other talent that was going to be involved in that day. Uh, a couple other people that all either got COVID or got sick or what. It was like kind of gnarly for a minute. Mm, um, yeah. And Johnny suggested Joe Rumrell, and I was like, okay. And yeah. I guess all's well looked, that ends well. Yeah, looked into it, because and it was like, oh, this is great. Joe was, the, at the end, the best he we could have got. the best. I Absolutely. got so many compliments. It's so funny, because we worked our asses off on this thing for months. And I got so many compliments on Joe and on Goonies' grandkids. <laughs> oh, like, whoa, uh, Goonies' grandkids. Goonies' yeah. grandkids. Let's talk about that. I don't know. Please. What a f- weird idea, like like this a reaction yeah. to a whatever. Thank you, yes. But it was like, we, me, Rocco, and Derek just sat down and just improv for half an hour yeah. and walked away from it. Like, that was like. That is everything I would have hoped it I remember we first were kind of spitballing concepts, you know, because we always like to. You know, a lot of time with with 64X, we always like to pull from experiences we've had at conventions and things like that. Yeah. And it was like, you know, okay, well, what kind, what other kind of panels have we seen, and what other things have we seen? And gone? also, we need to come up with like five to six hours worth of content. Yeah, of yeah, course. which is oh, kind yeah, of a tall yeah. order. So totally, there's a day where it's like throw out every idea you possibly can. Yeah, 
And I think I pitched this idea, which was like, let's film, let's do a movie debut, but we just film the audience. Yeah. Yeah. And it was honestly met with like crickets, confusion, <laughs> but yeah. There was, you know, there's At first, no reason like, not what? to put it on the board because <laughs> yeah. it's like it's the brainstorming session. So yeah, yeah. I'm just going to put it on the board. You know, yeah. I, know, I know it makes no sense, but let's just put it on the board. Yeah, I think because I think I I was just going to say, I think I initially brought up like the only thing I that I didn't think that we had done with 64 X is um, I remember at New York Comic Con. They showed the new Ghostbusters there. And all I heard about that, that I didn't hear anything any information from it other than i cried i cried i can't stop crying i'm crying my brother's crying my cry it was like is everything was everything okay Kevin the, Smith is but crying. but again it was like but what yeah. do we show we film the movie well, we can't I, do I that and think, that was i even idea. think yeah. that came later because okay, it yeah, was yeah. like we matched uh, it with that maybe it was uh you know just the idea but then we had this kind of brilliant idea of uh we could film a bunch of content at comic-con yeah. And so we got a video yeah. of us like fucking with Comic Con, which is that out? Did yep. we release that? Yeah, it's out. Yep. Cool. Yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about that in a second. That's yeah. technically our new video. Uh, but then we thought we could just film the audience at our panel too. And then we even still had no idea what to do because mm -hmm. it was like, cool, we got footage of the audience. Yeah. So we just filmed, <laughs> we told them like at the beginning of our Comic Con panel, hey, we're just going to film you guys the yeah. entire panel, just so you know. Uh, but we didn't know what we were going to do with this footage. We just like, we had it. But mm. now it's like, okay, now, yeah. <laughs> now what? And then know. before we improv anything, we filmed ourselves in costume mm -hmm. on the green screen. Yeah, the yeah. Day, Doing, yeah. Which I think is important for people at home to know the stages of like filmed an audience. What do we do? <laughs> we'll film ourselves in costume and join the audience. Cool. Then we'll <laughs> what the fuck are we going to show people for an hour? <laughs> yeah. 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 So then we, uh, we, we did improv. Uh, it's like building yeah, the so video Yeah, so we were talking backwards. like, what could we do that's like a Ghostbusters type thing that it's like, oh, this is going to really hit home and make you, you yeah, hit you right in the feels. What's that going to be? The nostalgia thing. Yeah, exactly. And then it was like, oh, let's do Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. that's the one franchise that people would be, that would misremember as like some emotional thing when it's it was really kind of a wacky kids movie i mean hey, there's emotional parts to it i guess sure but, but uh but that would be mangled into the next like nostalgia i'm gonna cry let's all cry kind of thing i feel uh, like it's right up there with ghostbusters like, yeah from the exactly. 80s as a kid mm -hmm. that was one of those movies where it's very just like you know fantastic yeah like, you kind of wish you could be in that movie mm -hmm. yeah or live it and, that's true and 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 i just want to say like we, there's so many jokes about crying and even right now i'm uh, it's like I'm not it's not it's not an anti crying thing <laughs> as as you know, as I said yeah, earlier yeah. today to he, to to make myself heal. I did that. It's more just like these properties get turned into like for some reason they get like packaged that way. Like, uh, oh, the new Ghostbusters. Are you ready to cry? I'm like, why? Why am I? Why am I going to cry about <laughs> Ghostbusters, like, like, awesome? like you have you're emo you have an emotional response to like, oh, I miss Ghostbusters. I totally get that. But it's always it's the way it's worded. It's like it's like I remember when I, I was telling them when the new Indiana Jones got announced in 2008 and so they were interviewing people at Comic-Con. It was like, oh, new Indiana Jones. Did you cry? And and I remember watching someone get interviewed. No, did something happen to Harrison Ford? <laughs> no, <laughs> just, but it gets packaged that way. Did you cry? Why am I? No, why? Why do I have to cry? I don't, I don't know. It's we. It's a weird uh the way things are presented. I guess to I don't know. make so you remember just, a simpler time in your life I when guess. you were a kid, and I just always think that was thought know. that was weird. So Goonies was like the perfect candidate for that next thing where it gets packaged that way. Like, yeah, well, let yeah. Me just we're getting off topic a little bit. Sure, we're sure. Talking sure. about this, I don't mind uh, movies that make you cry. I love sad, no, sad no. movies. I love it, but I don't want to cry because I'm not a child anymore. I don't want to have a movie make me feel nostalgic about my childhood, and that's why I'm crying, you know? Well, I yeah. feel like there's so many more moments in movies that make me cry because yeah. I feel like I relate to them, you know, just in that. It's just, you know, the nostalgia crying to me is like, I just don't want to participate in that. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and, and you know, again, everyone's different. If that, I'll just say for me, if that naturally happens, okay, but it's like, for me, it's more just like they, 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 want that to happen you know what i mean it's almost like no no you will like you have to it's like i don't know i get a weird vibe from that stuff but anyway well anyways yeah goonies grandkids yeah. we improvised it here and uh <laughs> then we all kind of walked away <laughs> and it was like all right derek you're gonna take that and edit that and i was <laughs> fucking pissed yeah. i was like i <laughs> no i don't want to edit get, this like yeah. what this is such a tall order uh, uh, but then i was like yeah well you know it's like this is such a weird idea, and I feel like 
the expectations were honestly so low. I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and I was kind of scared to bring it in and show you guys. Cause I was like, I don't know what the fuck this is. You know, yeah. like I added yeah. a bunch of like bass drops to whenever you said Goonies grandkids. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, I, yeah. is this funny? Like, <laughs> I, but I don't know. You had to yeah. score the Also whole thing. like we didn't give, you had the Comic-Con footage. You yeah. had the green screen footage, but what with what what we, we recorded, we didn't do any other takes. Yeah. And the, you pretty much used everything we said. Oh, we yeah. Really because yeah. it was like, well, let's just record for us fucking around for half yeah. an hour and then to see what we get. But we didn't think past that. Yeah. It was like, oh, that's, that's done, I guess. Which yeah. of you had not seen the original Goonies? We've all seen it. I, we've all seen You've it. all seen it? Yeah. yeah. But okay. you know what? I think it's been so long since any of us have seen it. Like, there's significant portions of that movie I do not remember. Yeah. Because uh, I was impressed with how you kind of followed the plot yeah. points of the I first I, watched it recently. I, oh, really? Uh, okay. I speed watched like the first 20 minutes of it. Okay. And then I went to the Wikipedia. We all went to the Wikipedia. To get the tone. And we that. kind of uh, took the, the main plot points and put them in a document. Oh, mm -hmm. so that was pretty much laid out when you guys got so into the recording. We group. were kind of reading off of an outline, but honestly, halfway through, we tossed the outline out the window. That okay. is true. Yeah, we were and already we, improvising off of it, most a lot of it. But yeah, it was like, yeah, we weren't by the end at all. By the end, yeah. We were just freestyling. We actually told a pretty good story. I think so. I was I, I, hey, I, I'm not going to bullshit. There's a hell of a lot of plot holes, but yeah. And I, I honestly, when it was over, you, Derek, you're like, I was, I, cause he was looking at me a lot. I'm like, well, what does he want me to say? I don't know. So I'm just kept bullshitting. And he's like, I was waiting for at the end. You want, it was like Sloth's grandkid was going to be like the savior. Me and Rocco both yeah, were we like, kept waiting for like, Sloth. I, that I was think, me. I was like, ah, oh, shit, you're right. That was way yeah, better. You were, you took on the Sloth grandkid, Tom. And I think me and Rocco were both like, <laughs> Yeah, Sloth shows up to save the day at the yeah. end of this movie. And Sean was like, oh no, we got to rescue Data. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sloth was gone. It's okay. I just like forgot that that was me, I guess. We were uh, making it up as it go. That's also, funny. like, if you, because we filmed it here, like me and Rocco and Derek are just sitting at this table right here. Yeah. And I remember, like, if you would have had the camera of, like, what's your name, Sloth? I was like, uh, and I'm just going, like, I. Uh, uh, fuck <laughs> shit. Uh, 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 I, I wanted to say marsupial. And I don't Ooh, know what. I don't know. Great. I know. Yeah, but then Tom I didn't. I said Tom instead. Tom. Tom. <laughs> well, Sean. Just not deformed. He's I'm going to hand it to you. Mm. Um, I feel like you had the most iconic line. Oh, whoa. Of the video. Well, thank you. Which, and the most iconic line of the original movies is Goonies never say die. Yeah. And I don't know where the fuck you. Because I this I don't know if you me. remember that. To me, that's the most famous <laughs> yeah, line. Is, so yeah. I was like, yeah. I said die. <laughs> and nobody gave a shit. Yeah. And so I was like, guys, I said die. And Goonies <laughs> don't say that. But then you just fired back. No, we're the grandkids. We do say die. <laughs> <laughs> That was like, fuck you. <laughs> you yeah, you took the it. most iconic, like, <laughs> that's like the force will be with you always. But in the new movies, they're like, not anymore. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, the force won't be with that. you. Yeah, the, the, yeah, we're the new Star Wars. There is no force. The force is bullshit. There is no force. That's the new oh. motto. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that was really funny. Yeah. yeah thank you. So that we acted the whole thing out in just one unbroken half hour. It was like, wow, what, how long was that? That was exactly like, tw like, 29 whatever 30 about 30 minutes okay awesome but yeah like you were saying derek uh the goonies grandkids segment kind of end up it was like the baton everyone kind of kept passing because johnny was editing all the like cool bumper segments which once again great job on that johnny those so are good, fucking johnny. cool all the bumper segments and the the you know his own segments where he's getting toured around he's editing those i was doing cosplayers at that point it was just like, yeah, I think we're all pretty much doing something. So uh, there you go, Derek. And I, in my mind, I was like, I wouldn't know what to do with that. So, um, and uh, yeah, but when you brought it in, it really was like, that was exactly what I was hoping for. Cause I love, I don't know what it is. I will always love a theater of the mind segment where it's yeah. like, you're hearing them yeah. off camera and you got to imagine what's happening. I, I always love that. I've always truly loved radio mystery theaters yeah, or whatever yeah, I, yeah. I i fucking love it yeah. and this was like oh this is that like we're just like yeah like i love also being like i've never seen a ship that big like yeah it's yeah. so yeah, easy it's just to say whatever you oh want my gosh, yeah. and if you have huge imagination you yeah. guys are good at fan fiction and you guys you were more. both like very like well we'll take care of it if you don't want to yeah, which yeah, kind of yeah. made we, me feel like no i'll do it i'll yeah. do it <laughs> no i was totally uh, down to work together on yeah, it was but fun. it worked out great anyways uh yeah 
but yeah, so that was that that was well, personally. Oh yeah. Well, I was gonna say there's no better way to get to our 64 hour special this week. Oh yeah. Right. Since we're talking about Goonies grandkids, let's unveil it. Because everybody at home wants this shirt. Yes. I definitely want this Johnny, shirt. Johnny, hit him with the 64 hour special. Show him what it is. The Goonies oh, grandkids, <laughs> we do say die <laughs> shirt. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you're going to wear this shirt at the mall. Some yep. Goonies stand is going to fucking pop. Yeah. There's a new Goonies. And then you just know what to say. Yeah. And yeah. they say die. <laughs> and they do one. say yeah. die. Yeah. It's going to fucking freak them out. In so this one, they do say die. We're going to freak out the Goonie normies with this shirt. That's a 64 hour special. It's at shop.mega64.com. You can pick it up for the next 64 hours. Yes. That will come down Wednesday night. So get your order in if you want. Snag that thing now. That's shirt. iconic. Yes. Before Warner Brothers cancels it. You know, just like everything else. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Meg, for designing the shirt. Yeah. yeah. At yeah. Furnace Shout Woods yes. on, uh, online. Uh, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Can, on Sean, her LinkedIn. Yeah. You mentioned that you were going to put some new secret prizes into the circulation. I possibly. did. I did say that. But you should refresh everyone's memory. We got a lot of new viewers out there. They might not know what a secret prize is. Well, let me tell you. Secret prize was a great idea back in 2003 when we sold one shirt a month. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we what we would do is it would be like, oh, when we sell that one shirt a month, Let's put something fun in the package, like Rocco's Taco Bell receipt or whatever. I don't know. Or, Just, yeah. or a sock. I yeah. think a sock funny. that I wore in a video or something. Yeah, yeah. something weird. I'm not props. doing that now. People don't got worry. props back. Yeah, in the day. and now, thankfully, business has picked up a little bit, and now we sell more than one shirt a month. It's good. It's so good what we do <laughs> is we uh, still add a fun prize in all of them, and uh, so sometimes it's a little order. stressful. Like how how do we get so many prizes? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't have these talk about receipts. What am I going to, you know, but <laughs> yeah. So we, we throw random shit in yeah, whatever we steal feel like Johnny's Pokemon, whatever cards. we feel like it yeah. could be something. There was one, we opened up some, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card and we looked it up and it was like, this card is selling for like, I think it was like 25 bucks on eBay. Oh wow. And so like, but like, I'm not going to sell it. So Into I wrote a sticky note saying this is, Twenty five dollars on eBay now it's your problem. And I gave it that was a secret price. You know, it's like you sent him twenty five bucks in the mail. Essentially, if they, if they wanted to sell it, Hell sure. Yeah. So picking up that Goonies grandkids secret prize, you could get that EGM. Well, yeah, if you get if you get the sixty four hour special, when yeah. there's a small window to get it, you may get an EGM secret prize. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. Who yeah. Knows? So yeah, I will yeah, say that's knows? what I'll say. If you, you buy know. that <laughs> shirt, I, those magazines that I found, I will give for that shirt. A lot of times I'll give Ke uh, uh, <clears throat> Kevin my <laughs> scripts or yeah. my uh, character Bibles stuff that I've printed out and used in videos and wrote notes on. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll, I'll give that to Kev for secret prizes. I mean, so he sends out stuff that oh, we use. Nice. A lot of times, you know, I'll go to a, a thrift store and just find a cookbook and just like cut those up and like pages <laughs> up and just like whatever. You get a nice recipe. Out. That's honestly why I bought this Milton Milton Burl. Burl book. Oh, was like, oh, we should give out this pages of this book. Fun oh, jokes. by the way, uh, stick around for the after show. We're going to be reading some Milton Burl jokes. Oh, that's right. And a page out of the Diary of a Madman, oh, yeah. Mr. Uh, Bean. But then I read these pages and thought, I cannot send this out to people. No. Yeah. So we'll just send them out. We'll send them out through the airwaves. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, I when I was cleaning out my office uh, this weekend, I uh, I kept finding, this happens all the time, I kept finding DBZ scripts. From our, from oh, our, yeah. our Boo Saga video. So yeah, I'm just ripping pages out. I signed some of them. Yeah. I put those in there too. So anytime you order something, there's always a chance you'll get a thing from from our set or yeah. Uh, the the name placards that were on our pant like for so, our yeah. Yeah. 64 X. Signed a couple of those. Put those in there. You so know, that's what like a secret that. prize so, is. Yeah, thank you, Gary. You always get a secret prize sure. when you order apparel from Mega 64. Yeah. Shop.mega64.com to order any of that stuff. The uh, whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Go, it's our best go get sponsor, it. dude. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, anyway, uh, was there any other 64? Oh, all I was going to say was the Goonies grandkids. That was my that was my the wrestling thing was like the to me, the most impressive 64 X segment. Sure. But my favorite was Goonies grandkids. So that was I just wanted to put my vote in there. I love the I, uh, I love sentient it. AI panel. Oh, oh yeah. that was good, too. The interaction Damn, between dude. those two. I forgot we did that. Yeah, that you was so I was fun to say because uh, that, yeah, well, that was great. I, I fucking forgot. Surprising. I thought Derek did a good job because I didn't know what his character was going to be. Well, we so. did that live. So yeah, yeah that was that was 100 percent not we were that was probably the least planned thing. I mean, we kind of beforehand were like, hey, I'm going to do this and then maybe you come in and do that. OK, yeah. Uh, but that was the least planned maybe of everything. So I didn't know you were going to act the way that you did. 
And then yeah, I didn't know I was going to act the way I did. That was all like <laughs> improv on yeah. the spot. So. Yeah. That was and good. I, I, I kind of felt like I could, but I was a little like by that point in the day, like <laughs> on everything. So yeah. I wasn't sure. I didn't feel like I did as good of an AI as I could. But no, it was still wonderful. fun. It I think was you fun. were awesome. Yeah. Quibbly yeah. scared the shit out of me. I, I think your expectations are too high, honestly. Maybe. I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. You, that you point, just delivered the perfect AI. By so. that point in the day, I, I didn't know what was happening. I was like, <laughs> just, you know. And it, I, I, you know, I wanted to have, I was really, it wasn't like lock on the schedule, but for our panel that day, I really wanted to have a new cosplayers video. Right. I was like, it's been, that was one thing that when, when the pandemic started, People were like, damn, you know, you guys are still making stuff, which was cool, you know, whatever, but we'll probably never get another cosplayers video. I mean, people told me that right. a bunch of times. Never damn, say never. I wonder if we'll ever see one of those again. And so that's why now once the con started up this last summer, it's like we owe the people. They have wanted this for the past two fucking years. We got to get some cosplayer footage, you know, and mm -hmm. so uh, I was racing to get that done. We got all our bigger obligations done. I was I stayed up like every night. I'm like, no, this will be done by 64X. So I, I think I only ended up getting like 90 minutes of sleep before before we did 64X that day. I, I was working on that video until like seven in the morning or something like that. And then I slept an hour and a half and came in well, here. It so, showed because it's, it's a crazy video. Yeah, yeah that, that was the, <laughs> fortunately, so, that's the right mindset to be in for those it's, videos. Yeah, Rocco yeah. always said so when it's like, like you know, five a.m. and on. Yeah, it's it's weird. I yeah, love so, how you came up with the ending. I mean, oh I mean, yeah, that was the last minute pleased. thing too. We yeah. were just wrapping it up, and then I walked in here and I saw that all the gangsters in that painting, and I was like, oh, Garrett is a painting. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Okay, yeah. So that worked out great. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, and I I think Sean, you made that painting. Right? I did. I mean, I put the Garrett and then you made put the, the prop together. The prop, yeah, and, and then, then Johnny, did you film that part? No, uh, Rocco filmed it. Oh, yeah. He, oh, but he helped. He, but he helped, has me, he has me joining Rocco at the end though. doing that. Yeah. He looked very cinematic. So, I yeah, it I was. Why. You could, it couldn't have been me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, you no, did good. You did good. You did great. <laughs> no, he, no, I had, I definitely helped from them. And, uh, I just want to give Johnny credit, you yeah. know? Thank you did, so you did cosplayers, uh, but Johnny, I feel like, was really the MVP for 64X. And, oh, and, yeah. And doesn't get enough credit because not only did he run the whole board, but yeah, he edited like the bulk of the content especially like the bumpers yeah. not only like the main content but all the interstitial stuff yeah. and meg our graphic designer yeah mm -hmm. with yeah, she uh, it and and jason yeah with the jason logo. did the logo yeah uh, Fucking love the like logo. so many people like uh pulled together to, to oh, make that happen yeah. and it was a great show and so it was everybody so nice. deserves credit it, everyone did do a great job and we should say you've probably been seeing a lot of and west, west yeah. Smith. yeah yeah so if you if you were uh sick of the photos i'm sorry but we love them uh and I was so glad that you guys had him come down and shoot that whole day. It was awesome. So we could just keep promoting that we were live with his awesome behind the scenes shot. Yeah, he was, to be honest, I'm gonna be real. West, if you're watching this, I'm gonna get, you're gonna get a dose of realness right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> we were very busy in the days leading up to 64X and I felt like, you know, there were times there, oh, let's take some pictures. And I was like, I can't, I am, edit I'm editing cosplayers. Johnny's doing his thing. I don't have time for that. I really don't. Sorry, but you know, whatever. And then the day came, 64X, we're here. And uh, oh, I need a I need a picture of all of us at the booth to promote. I I I, mean, I need to tweet this right now. And everyone was like, let Wes take the picture. And I'm like, yeah, guys, don't have time for that. Take it with my phone so I can tweet it. Just let Wes do it. And I'm like, dude, these fucking guys don't get it. All right. Wes took a picture and within point one second had it airdropped to my phone. He like it was I've never like, seen anyone have it. edit. His work photo so fast. Yeah. I don't know how he even got it on his computer. That I fast. don't either. It was, but he did, and then it's like he color corrected it and sent it over in in point two seconds. He's it like check airdrop on your phone. I'm like, I, yeah, yeah, it's all right there. He's a fucking pro. Dude. He's, oh a my God. He's, He's a pro. He's a pro. I was tweeting those West's all day. Ability. Yeah, Wes, we've, this we've guy doing, he does way bigger shit than the Mega Sixty Four oh X. I just didn't know the speed at which he You're could do it. You're insulting a professional. Like I'm not gonna. West do it. And this guy's like a fucking photograph well, Obama. Just, any you photographer I've ever worked with is like, let me take the next couple of weeks to like get these photos well, you together. You ain't worked with West them. fucking Smith. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was unreal. This guy is unbelievable. unreal. No, so uh, it is. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know what it is about you this found dudes' pictures. You, I think yeah. you're responsible. Sean, you for, discovered West. You well, put he, this guy on. He discovered. I mean, he came to our PAX booth years ago. He dropped those stickers, and he off. gave us stickers and a, a, a portrait. And I just like. I was like looking at him like this is fucking interesting. Like I don't know what it is. 
he has an eye, but like it's interesting. Every time he takes a picture, I like look at it and like I, something about it. He's captured something in a really cool way, and I yeah. can't even tell you why. He, it's so yeah. fucking cool, but I, I, I love it. I've always liked his photos, but just the, the way his workflow that day, it, I, I was yeah. blown away. I just, He's I'm just like incredible. truly like I'm like a fan of this guy. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so have him here all day was fucking cool. Uh, he has a Patreon. If you want to check it out, I reckon I, I really love this guy's work. So it's like it's always yeah. wild. Like I you, buy you all never zines. know what you're gonna see. If you but, like physical uh, media, it, I would check it out. I was just gonna say I posted one today that I wasn't. Um, the event had ended, and I think you guys left, and it was just. I thought it was. I thought it was just me and Johnny and Kevin. I don't remember anybody else. And so uh, I just recently acquired. Uh, for the first time, they made Acquired. a replica. They re they made a replica of the Blue Rangers power lance. Oh, Zordon the gave that to you. Lance. <laughs> you acquired and so that. You guys oh, yeah. left, and I literally ran in the room. Are the adults gone? Good. And I started <laughs> spinning it around. Turn the lights off because they have LED effects. Mm. And I turned the lights off, and then all of a sudden, I hear. <laughs> I didn't know West was still here, and he like slid in <laughs> in the dark and took a picture. So the picture Slept, I yeah. I posted today. That's me in motion. And I, you could see the surprise on my face. I'm going like that because I didn't know I was being recorded, <laughs> you know. But anyway, uh, that was genuine. And he somehow he, the photo, I'm telling it, you, it looks perfect. The guy's fucking great. Dude. Like he's so good. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah. Anyway, Anyways. check it out. Yeah. one 800 West Smith on Instagram. Give him a follow. He's a nice guy too. Super he's nice. A personal Super friend. Nice. And he's we a fan him. of ours. Like he he's said a, he had a list of like, you know, five people want to take pictures of. And we were on that list. Like, I was what an honor. To get to long form, have a conversation with him on the Mega 64 Twitch. We, we had him on the PPS, Brian and I. Okay. Oh, so we okay. talked like extensively with some of the audience about, you know, photos and his involvement. He's a true internet soldier. Yeah. Check out the latest PPS for the West interview. Always. Fuck yeah. West world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what oh, happened to that hey, show? Hey, speaking of which, I, have, I can tell you about it. Yeah. Oh. Is that coming back? So it, that, it, oh. Season finale airs tonight. Oh, of season what? four. Wait, what? You didn't know it came back for a new I had season? No I had no idea that was You really did back. not know? I no really idea. did not know. <laughs> what it's the been fuck? Back? Season four ends tonight. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. So that show had the most phenomenally bad season three. I mean, it was like more boring Blade Runner, if you can imagine that. I truly, season one and two, it was like, this is my favorite show. I fucking love this. I got three episodes into season three, and I was like, never again. I'm watching the show. <laughs> yeah. That was a quick I, I know people who that was their favorite show, and that that season was like, oh, yeah, I will no longer participate. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this boring shit. So I, will, I somehow finished that season. It was bad, and I mentally, I, I, I don't know why. I wanted to see it through, and I'm like, yeah, that was not even worth watching to the end. That was so bad, and I thought, well, I'm done with that show. But you know what it was? I don't know. Season four is airing, and I'm I'm morbidly curious. I'm mm. like, okay, I'm mentally done, but I've downgraded the show to it's on while I work. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So I've just have it on the TV while I'm like doing other shit. And I will say, they 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 got notes, and they actually, it's still they fixed them. It's stuff. still like not great. Mm. It's not good. But it is much better than that last season was. Where are it's they like in the future still? Where the fuck? Are oh, like, they they like, are. But oh, you can no. tell they heard their notes. Where in by the end of the second episode, they're like, "Sorry, I don't know if anybody out there cares about this." I'm I spoil guarantee the you second no episode. Go back to Westworld. No. But they were like, "Oh yeah, it was like, <laughs> oh wait, there's another one. What? What?" And they're in like 1920s. It's like Boardwalk Empire, mm -hmm. and that's and that's where they are. Okay, uh, that's but there were some twists in the season that I was like, okay. Too bad no one saw this because that was actually kind I of cannot a believe. decent twist you pulled off. I literally have HBO and I go to the HBO Max <laughs> app a lot and I still did not know this was back. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. how did I miss and, this? And just like last season, but I will say with their last season, they did complete that all in as COVID like first hit. Mm. So it was like March 2020. They were like working mm. on it like, oh, no. So there's a degree of like, oh, maybe they got cut short, whatever. So it was only eight episodes that season, but they did that again this time. And it, again, it felt it felt like it was it's like, OK, this actually isn't like so bad, but then it's over. You know, it's yeah. like, oh, there's only one more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, uh, out of my morbid curiosity, saw some of it. It was better, but they, they I thought they said from the beginning that they had a plan for five seasons so the next one would be the last one and i'm curious if they'll stick to that or if they'll even come back at all because yeah. i don't know anyone that knew this yeah. was yeah <laughs> didn't good. they have like anthony hopkins yeah mm -hmm. 
And he's still in the show? No, no, no. Oh, okay. He was like the mainstay of the first season. And yeah, then he's he like, great. Okay, that. done with this shit. Yeah. But that, I mean, the, the first two good seasons get. are good. Good get. Yeah. yeah. He was the guy that kind of started it all and it's moved on past him. Okay. I, I Again, I I liked the second season a lot. Yeah. I thought it, because it went in depth on the company that made all this. But then season three wanted to be Blade Runner. And yeah. it was like, oh, oh, you're you're not. Uh, let Ridley Scott. It was do that. it was Blade Runner with uh, the dude from Breaking Bad. I'm like, I'm, and Denny I'm good. You. Um. Anyway, so that was your Westworld update. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, yeah. All right. And now for the Padres update. No, I'm, I'm, a, still, I'm, no. A, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. What no. was the what? Well, is it Tatis? Fuck, dude. Okay, let me give you a quick I liked rundown. Him. Did they get Tony Gwynn Jr.? They have Tony. Yeah, he's the uh, announcer. He's oh oh. oh. Why do they let him play? Tony Gwynn Jr. and Jesse Aguilar, who, uh, see, like, I really like them. They're, like, super young. He follows me. Jesse Aguilar follows me. I don't what? know why. Oh, he's why? probably watching. Is he's that probably Jesse? watching. I don't Dude, think so. Dude, Jesse, put your but, um, on the mound. Yeah, no, he's not going to do that. First pitch, but, uh, material. They do the play-by-play the -play on the radio. But anyways, okay, everyone, quick recap on mm -hmm. Padres shit. Mm -hmm. We <sighs> made the biggest right. trade. Already, know, wow, Derek didn't the even The biggest it. trade in MLB history. Well, not related. I'm just tired. MLB history to get Juan Soto, which is a big fucking deal. That's One a big, guy. That, that's a it's, a, it's a crazy thing. And I'm trying to res, do a wrestling comparison, but I fucking can't. I don't know. It's like the best wrestler you've ever seen who's like really young and they give like See every other wrestler, a company switches wrestlers and gets like, I don't know. It doesn't matter. One wrestler, yeah. fucks, six wrestlers. I understand matter. things that aren't wrestling. God, yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it <laughs> Anyways, Sean. everyone said guy. we have Manny Machado. He's fucking great. It's like getting Goku. We have Juan Soto. He's fucking great. We have Fernando Tatis Jr., who is pretty much the face of baseball. Oh, he's but in San Diego native too, right? No, he's Dominican Republic. Oh, okay. But check this shit out. In December, the dude was on some like motorcycle. Like 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 off road, I don't know what the quad thing, oh, and glass. fell, and broke his wrist, but didn't tell anyone he broke his wrist, because oh, it was some weird lockout thing. Oh. I don't fucking know, but he should have. That could he be should. millions of dollars if he. Well, here's the deal: this fucking guy just signed a contract for 13 years for 340 million dollars. Like one of the oh. biggest contracts ever. So don't be on motorcycles. And don't be. On, I'm sure that has to be in his contract. But anyways, so. <laughs> The day that the lockout ended and they said, all right, players come back and we'll do uh, spring training. They're like, what's wrong with your wrist? And it's like, it's fucked up. So you need surgery. You're going to miss <gasps> all the way up until June. Oh. Like with this, if you would have so taken. He couldn't hide it. Oh. He couldn't hide it. But if he would have got the surgery right as it happened, it probably would have been. Probably, if he reported it, he Man. probably would have felt, I don't, I don't know, maybe even missed a little bit of time, but whatever. Anyways, they keep pushing it back. And the whole thing is like, once you get Fernando Tatis Jr. back, it's going to be fucking amazing. You're going to have like one of the best lineups in the majors. You're gonna like, it's going to be amazing. So then it's like a week away. Like, hey, he's coming back. He's in Texas right now doing rehab assignments and basically playing for the minor league team to get to the majors. He's like, we're like five days away. He's yeah. coming Old back. Durham. He's fucking coming back. Exactly. Yeah. Movie club. Check it out. On Friday. <laughs> Yep. On Friday, got a notification. Fernando Tatis Jr. has been suspended by Major League Baseball for 80 games without pay for using steroids. Oh, oh This fucking guy <laughs> is using PEDs because... What are those? Uh, steroids. But, dang, that's right, Kevin. Oh, PEDs. Oh, PEDs. So... Then his statement was, was it oh, it was, was an it? accident because... I actually had I had ringworms. I had okay. ringworms, and the medication that they had had some kind of weird steroid, thing, in, steroid right. in it, okay. and it's it's not. I didn't cheat. Nice try. I'm anybody. not cheating. That could happen to anybody. Russians have better then excuses it, than that. No, came that's, out, that's easy. It came out that's like, yo, <laughs> this guy is making this up. He like they would never have prescribed this medication for ringworms. Also, like they have trainers. It, with the Padres, who will give you every because they do not want a player to get popped for PEDs. No, so they they know everything that goes into your body and on yeah, your body. Dude. They know. Oh come on! And this guy, he took that. Anyways, it turns he out he just didn't cycle off smart I enough. I think what happened was he was trying to heal faster from his. He felt yeah. bad that he fucked everything up yeah. and then lied about it. So he took these steroids to heal faster and now got caught for this. And now he's going to miss the entire season. The entire oh. season I have season tickets for. That's I'm missing this fucking guy play. But now it's like his legacy's ruined where it's like, will he ever make the Hall of Fame? 
probably probably no. Not. Well, Baseball he, loves a everyone comeback. is going to be like he's a cheater for the rest of his life. He's a cheater, and yeah. he's 23 years old. He signed a 13 340 million dollar contract that we cannot get out of. The Padres have a no trade clause, and they have to do it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fucked. You don't think he so can make a comeback? I hope I hope you <laughs> uh, enjoy the 340 million dollars. I hope that makes you sleep well at night. Well, you cheater. They're saying, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your legacy. Tatis. Yeah, because cheater. You, you're not getting in the Hall of Fame. But so I hope that $340 million dollars <laughs> yeah. goes a long Sucker way for you. I just really like the ringworm. That's all you're getting. Part of it is like my favorite part. That is it's a like, weird excuse. Yeah, just say that you just try to heal faster. Don't say you have ringworms. That's not cool. Uh, pay somebody to write a better excuse. This dude is I like. I drank the wrong water bottle. He's at the in gym. like Sorry. Dairy Queen commercials and Adidas commercials and like Gatorade. But Adidas likes. That's steroid all going to go away. That's all going to oh, go away because he... Oh, man. That's right. That's and, then, and then all he's going to have is that $340 million to sustain him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a joke. San and Diego should have given him a full 400. Then he would have, uh, you know, maybe flown straight and narrow. Yeah. They, well, they, now man. people are... Get what you pay for, San Diego. People who... Like, I have a Tatis jersey. And now it's like, I don't... So Why did I pick Tatis? Why couldn't I pick a Machado jersey or a Hugh Darvis jersey? Those endorsements or a Hassan Kim jersey. When what? when do those endorsements go away? I think now. Oh, so all day he is not dreaming about sex any longer. No, <sighs> he's not. Well, maybe he is. I don't know. Anyways, sad. thank you for That's my Padres cool. rant. That's crazy. I'll That's do it again when we were the World Series. Thank <clears> San you. Diego has the fourth largest homeless population in the <laughs> United States, but we gave three hundred and forty million dollars to a guy who can't even play baseball. Well, for us. I will make you feel better, Derek. Don't worry. It was not the city of San Diego who gave him that much money. It was. It a, was just the local baseball owner team. named. What's her Peter name? Seidler. Just a billionaire. Yeah, what, just the guy who. But a we, cool one. Yeah, but we He's have no cool way one. of taxing hey, him. This dude rules. I love this. Dude. We're not going to tax this fucking billionaire because his money is uh, too valuable. He needs to invest it you in the what? business I'm, to help the economy. Like giving three hundred and forty million dollars to a fucking guy who's on drugs. Yeah, cool. Well, There's a lot of. Them I saw on some drugs. tweet saying like, I didn't realize how fucking cool Tatis was. This guy rides motorcycles and does drugs. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I'll hang out with him. Yeah, right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> kind of a waste of yeah. three hundred. No, yeah, bummer. Okay, there John, you go. I was saying earlier, I felt bad, but John tells me Padres news that I swear I've always heard before. Like, oh, this guy had a big contract and blew it. Didn't that already happen? Oh, but we just signed like the biggest new guy of all time. Didn't that just happen? I don't know. I always feel like I... Well, usually back in the days, it was like... Back in the old days, and I say old days like seven years ago, uh -huh. the team would spend like $34 million on the players total. And now I think we spend like, I don't know, like $250 million a year. Like we, the guy, the guy who now owns the team is spending all of the money, which is awesome. It's fucking cool. Like, it's nice to have like a good team finally. So that's nice. Have they won championships? Not yet, but it's yeah. coming, baby. <laughs> the Andy, the foot it's coming. Any day. I feel like it's, <laughs> it's coming, baby. 30 seasons it's of, nice to have a guy who spends insane <laughs> amounts of money to finally have a good team. The championships are going to well, come. <laughs> it's so funny because I see like everyone like, how is this guy paying for this? I'm like, well, he's a billionaire to begin with. It's like Tony Khan. Great. But also cool. it's like society rules. It does. But the games sell out like every day now they and sell out it's always sold out really yeah because wow. it's Jesus. a fun exciting team that people care about like we're not like a laughing stock anymore and like, like it used to be like people cool. like i mean it's now nice we're a whole stadium. different kind of laughing stock <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah we're finding new ways to be laughed at <laughs> anyways that's my pod it's a fun thing. time to go down to the it's fun ballpark. it's fucking right. great sean got his little baseball moment in time to scrub that away with some anime talk that's right go ahead Oh, I've, Sean, I was counting on you for that. Oh. All right, whatever. I'll, I'll do it. Still it still sucks. Hey, oh. I, uh, I w no, I was just excited. I was telling, I was talking about this earlier, and Derek, you met, you mentioned that I should maybe just uh, bring this up. Is um, I've been very excited this week about uh, the new Dragon Ball movie is coming out. That's right. Finally, which may have the best title of any movie. You know the title? Of I it, don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, the new Dragon Ball movie is called Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Ooh. You want to get super in there, not as only not possible. only twice, but back yeah. to back in the same. That's sentence. pretty cool. There's Any a comma between them. So uh, the way that they're doing it in theaters is it's dubbed until after 10 p.m. Then it becomes subtitled. Well, it's like, well, that's the one I want to see. I want to hear. Weird. I want to hear the OG maybe, maybe voices. Going to bed early. I guess so. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> stay up late. 
So uh, I was like, yeah, well, let's go. And I told uh, Garrett, I'm like, I I'm booking my ticket. I'm getting ready. Let's go. And we planned a time to do it. And I looked and I'm the only person who has bought a ticket for the subtitled one. So when you look <laughs> it up, there's a showing and there's one man in the middle of this giant yeah. room. And so Garrett was like, yeah, oh, so you're going. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to plan this. So where are you sitting? I'm like, you'll know. <laughs> You'll seriously see. you open up the app and there's one man standing in the middle of the room movie come out <laughs> uh, Next friday week. friday yeah nice so anyway anybody wants to go it's nice. this is gonna be hot the dude i i don't know anything about it. i've been staying away it's just me and rock the right red now. ribbon army i'm hearing is whoa, back whoa. you know what they did sean what did they do whoa. uh you they, know come on you know android this android 16 you know dude dr Jerome. yes oh yes. tell pie pie got it he he's, you're knows, doing it dude. peter i you're doing I, it i know what they did you're, you're weaving. doing it peter oh, yeah. and yeah. who else who who was the worst he's one? weaving who was the worst one uh Android. Sean, you. This is so easy. Game. Sean, I Dragon said Ball Fighter Z. Don't, don't, Sean, don't me Sean, he's a star of a video. She looks like uh, the word. Wait, that's the Cell Saga. You, it's not. You, is it Cell? Yes. Oh, yeah. they do Cell. They he made was Cell? the ultimate. See, Doctor Giro created him, and right. it was the worst creation ever. And he killed Doctor Giro absor to absorb the androids to become more powerful. Cell went out of. It was that Doctor? Yeah. Wait, I thought. Wait a minute. Time out. Yeah. I did not think Cell killed him. I thought it was yeah. um the uh fucking android. They kicked his head off. Well, they did, but in in the cell came from a different Sean. You're you, okay. This you're, is how you're long mixing multiple. I thought Android sixteen killed Sean him, in another timeline. Already. In yeah. another timeline, Doctor Giro made Cell, and Cell was so powerful he killed his creator, and then started going back in time uh, and fucking with time. Spoilers. To, yeah. Oh, yeah. see, I would say I, in the, our video, Cell did not kill him, and no, I, no, I do no. know that. You didn't that. see that in there. Android yeah. twenty one, in my opinion, was more powerful than Cell. I don't remember but that But she's one. from the video game. Oh, I didn't yeah, make yeah. that one. So uh, that one. what theater do you guys see in the set? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to come? No. It's just me and no. Rocco right now. Where are you now. going? Not gonna, not I just got to know if I can make it. Not going to get into it's that. It's theater two. Yeah. It's uh, anime theater number one in Los Angeles. Okay. Mm -hmm. You Right now, it's it, you said it's empty. You can have a lot of friends come join you. We yeah. could. I'm good. <laughs> People might talk during the film, though, and I don't that's, like that. See, that's what had me nervous because I've mentioned on here many times, seeing anime in a theater is notoriously a bad uh, experience because everyone feels like uh, they must laugh at every moment. And uh, and I brought this up before. People have said, yeah, I, I encountered that too. But my particularly egregious example was seeing the classic Perfect Blue and uh, laughter at every murder in that film really got old after like the fourth one. When someone's just being XD. stabbed. And it's, oh my God. <laughs> you see that? Thomas, do you see that? LOL. Yeah. We we know you, uh, we know you're feeling awkward. And you don't know how to handle it, but we're watching this. So anyway, yeah. but Dragon Ball, whatever. Uh, Dragon Ball's different. You yell shit. What who is? Cares. Okay. So what is preceding this? Like what was like the se this is a sequel, right? Well, yes. Yeah, Dragon Ball Dragon, Dragon Ball Super. Super is after Z. And that was okay. the one with the, the black hair Goku. No, or like the that was is a it called season. Goku Black. Goku that Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black yeah. hair Goku. First time. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I realized that that's the original form. No, when he goes Super Saiyan, it's pink. Um, oh, it's like rose gold. But kinda, yeah. uh, Sean, now now you know that we've done the Boo Saga video. Yes. Uh, so there's the ending. They defeat Boo. Yeah. And then it skips ahead ten years later uh -huh. to they're doing the tournament where he goes off with Oob. Right. You've seen that. I see that. I've seen that. Dragon Ball Super is it. a series that takes place. It's like Boo was just killed six oh. months ago. Oh, but it so but but it's in between that and the ten year jump. You know yeah. what I mean? There's a gap of that gap of time. Uh, what what happened? Yeah. yeah, known no, known commonly as a decade, decade in, in decade the anime world. Yeah, uh -huh. but anyway, uh, and then they've done a few movies in that time span too. And this one, it, I think is. I think this one might be like the last thing that happens so before that. They canonized as Broly. Come in the timeline of Dragon Ball. Sure, yeah. mm -hmm. the Oob and Goku driving off is. The end of it is of the Z. very end That's of it. That's the last thing we've seen. Now, no. some, some people oh, are going to argue. Grand, there is, Grand Tour, baby. Yeah, there's oh. Dragon Ball GT. However, to, going to space. That however, baby. that they going to space. Not canon. Not yeah. canon. Creator yeah. did not yeah. yeah. do it. Nobody canon. doesn't matter because there's a whole TV show. So uh -huh. there is, but decanonized. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Super decanonized. But it. House Super of the Dragon is coming out. Same difference. So I don't know what that is. If that works. Oh, GT works as well. Oh, what's House of the Dragon? That really is. That really is. What's House of the Dragon? HBO's Dragon yeah, Ball GT. I never thought too. about oh, it. Oh, it's, it's, it's a prequel. Yeah. Prequel. Yeah. Prequel. Oh, with the Daenerys Targaryen. Nah, she's yeah, not gonna you know. be in it. But yeah, the, it's the, a thousand the years Targaryen. before that. It's a continuation yeah. of the best 
parts of Game of Thrones. Oh. The, the parts that uh, that author had nothing to do with. <laughs> yeah, the good stuff. <laughs> the, the last three seasons, the people who were helming that, they yeah. got they're they're finally in charge. And they really, get to throw away the source material. It really is kind of amazing that that was like what everyone agreed was maybe the problem, and the, and now so we're just gonna do that. Yeah, yeah but this is cool. I mean, yeah. you get to see you get it's, to see it. It's you know they want to. I'm gonna say uh, make money. No, and, yeah, no, I, I don't I'm think pretty it's sure HBO's not. And into it's that. like you've seen it. It's done Did you see the rehearsal? The the <laughs> ho- the Hobbit. Was that, you know, that sucked pretty <sighs> bad. The first one was okay. If it was one movie, I think it would have been good. But it, it was three. And I, it hey, I, I'm, I'll get risky. It might have been two good movies. It might have been. Maybe. But if it was one, it would have gone oh, right yeah. with yeah. the Fantastic. three. It would have yeah. been fucking great. Uh, yeah, they just want to keep just you know churning this shit out. It's like the, the, the fucking uh, Crimes of the Grindelwald. Or whatever the fuck, Grindelwald or Grindy, <laughs> same Wolf. shit. You know what I want? Those <laughs> suck. No one cares. But, uh, let's do a, a sequel to Game of Thrones that's modern day. That Whoa. the game of Dude, the Game yeah. of Thrones world has like gone CEOs. like a thousand years in the future, yeah. and it's like modern day New York. It's but like it's GTA, yeah, but, GTA, GTA, but they're like the mafia now. They're like yeah. running, running, pulling the strings. GTT Grand Theft Thrones, Whoa. yeah, yeah. Grand, Thro- Grand Throne Auto. No. Oh yeah. no! Uh, I'm hearing I'm hearing rumors about the new GTA. They're <laughs> they're making it. Well, that's, you, have you really heard something? That's not a rumor, but oh. yeah, I've heard rumors that the main character may be uh, Latina. Okay. Well, uh, and that got me. Oh, I didn't. Know, I didn't, very I didn't know it was woke. Wait, what? Well, I'm done. Great. <laughs> I'm out. Wait, Great. what? Nope. Off. End the podcast. I'm done. Derek, Goodbye. Derek. Out. Gone. My mom's the main character. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> She's going to smack you with a chunkla. What the fuck? It's a sandal. <laughs>